Welcome to Wall Street Mojo to know more about this video sign Excel function. Watch the video till the end and if you are new to this channel then do not forget to subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone. Today we have a topic sign Excel function. We are going to study this in a much more detailed format. It's a math Excel function. Before we begin explaining this particular topic, we will understand the concept first. See the sign in Excel is a math or a trick function. It is a built-in function. It is a built-in function in uh, Excel that has to be used to indicate the sign for any given number. So you can use something like this is equal to sign and open the number so you'll get a number. So argument used in the sign formula in Excel. The number to get for a sign for. So the input number can be any number entered directly or in the form of any mathematical operation or any cell references. So the sign function Excel is the sign minus one or zero or like you know plus one okay of the supplied numerical argument and uh, the output the sign formula in excel has only three output one zero and minus one one zero and minus one these are the three outputs now if the number is greater than zero if this is a uh, greater than the zero then the sign in the excel function will return to one if the number is equal to zero uh, in this particular regards equal to zero then the sign excel function will return to zero and if the number is let's say less than one uh, less than zero i mean uh, then the sign function will return as minus one so if the supplied number uh, argument is non-numeric then the sign in the excel will return to the uh, so-called the value error now suppose you have a list of the numbers something like this as uh, two one i mean we just have here two two point one uh, three minus four one zero minus seven and so on and so forth so this is in a3 to a8 as shown below and you want to find the sign of each of these numbers how are you going to do so the first number is a3 and you can input the sign formula as is equal to sign and uh, the number is a3 just press enter it will show you as one the answer it will return to as now you can drag it down to the rest of the cells control d till b8 to get the sign of the each of this number and instead of giving the cell references you can also provide the number as it is uh, you know uh, you know you can you can use that also uh, showing something like this is equal to sign but why would someone do that you know rather than just writing 2.1 and then doing the thing right so this is you have to change it to 3 and so on and so forth so it will return again the output as 1 now how to use a sign, sign function See the sign function is a built-in function in Excel and is mostly used in association with other Excel function. So let's start with that. Uh, in this uh, particular, this was just an illustration. We'll go with the example number one to understand. Suppose you have the final balance figures of the seven department for 2016 and 2017, which is given as below. Department A to Department G. Now some of the departments are running in debt and some are giving good returns. So now you want to see if there are any increase in the figure compared to the last year and to do so you can use uh, the formula as is equal to sign saying uh, uh, d4 and uh, in that particular regards just write to c4 okay there are two brackets because of that yeah so it will show again as one here okay it will return to plus one and the argument of the sign function in excel is value is returned as the functions now drag this down uh, to the next to till the end and you will see somewhere minus one somewhere minus one and 
majority the majority of the players that is showing as one example number two now in this particular scenario in the above example you may also want to calculate the percentage of the increase or decrease with respect to the previous year so you to do so you can use the uh, following you know sign formula uh, something like this is equal to d4 just get this into bracket is equal to d4 less c4 close the bracket divide by c4 into the sign and uh, use uh, c4 as the value so it will show you as 20 percent so drag this to the rest of the cells and you will get a couple of answers if the balance for the year 2016 is zero then the function will give an error so alternatively the following you know you can use the sign function uh formula may be used to avoid such kind of error and uh, let's say over here it's zero so it will give a div zero error so in this particular scenario we can use an if error function and if error just show us answers value as zero Just press control down and it will show us zero percentage. So in order to get the overall percentage increase or decrease, you can use the sign function here like this. Okay. Now example number three. Now suppose that you have a list of the numbers from B3 to B8 as shown here. And uh, now you want to change the sign of the each of the negative numbers to positive. So you may simply use uh, the sign function as is equal to B3 into sign function b3 close the bracket so it will show you as 280 and if the b3 is negative then the sign b3 is going to be minus 1 and b3 minus sign b3 will be negative which will result to the positive numbers so if the b3 is positive here then the sign b3 plus 1 and b3 into sine b3 will be positive into positive which will return to the positive values you drag this thing down now control d to show you as 50 as c see here see here the answer this is what i was trying to make you understand on this example number four that suppose you have any uh you have your monthly sales as from f4 to f10 and you want to find if your sales are going up or down so to do so you can use uh, the sign function here saying uh, vlookup is equal to just use here is equal to vlookup the lookup value is uh, inside this vlookup you can use the sign function uh, saying uh, uh, from f f5 minus f4 close the bracket comma a5 to b7 and uh, the column index is going to be 2 the range lookup is going to be exact match and uh, that's it you know where this is this is basically uh, a5 to b7 you know is basically it contains information of the up zero and down value so the sign function will return to uh, the previous month sale using the sign function the vlookup will pull the information from the vlookup table and returns whether whether there are sales going up or down or zero and so on and so forth the details okay so it will show you that level of uh, contingencies in that particular regards now what are the things that you should remember about the sign function now uh, see the sign function it provides the sign of the given number or given input number i would say uh, second the sign in excel takes input uh, only a number and these number can be uh, cell references 
और आउटपुट फ्रॉम एनी अदर ऑपरेशन द साइन फंक्शन रिटर्न एनी ऑफ दिस थ्री वैल्यू प्लस वन जीरो और माइनस वन फोर्थ इफ द नंबर इज लेट से पॉजिटिव द साइन इन एक्सेल विल रिटर्न टू प्लस वन इफ द नंबर इज नेगेटिव then the sign in excel will return to minus 1 if the number is let's say 0 then the sign in excel will return to 0 so if the argument is let's say non numeric value then the sign in excel will return to the value error so that's it for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like subscribe this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for all the latest updates thank you everyone